This is Karen Ramsey, and I'm here in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, with Raul. And Raul owns a fantastic raw food cafe called... The Green Wave Cafe in Plantation, Florida. In Plantation. And uh, I went there last night. The food is just amazing. And I heard a story from your daughter, mm -hmm. Isabel, about you and your healing journey. And I'd like you to tell our audience about sure. your story. I can tell you how the cafe got started and, and what led me to the raw food and healing. Uh, I can tell you that 14 years ago, I had prostate cancer heart disease, and a million other things wrong with me that I didn't even realize, and I was about 60, 70 pounds overweight, okay? Uh, my daughter did some research, and I, you know, I went to the regular medical doctors at first, and they wanted to do implants, they wanted to do radiation, they were talking about maybe taking the prostate out, all this stuff, and I said, whoa, wait a minute, you know, um, and I had been a paramedic for Dade County, I rode fire rescue, I worked in hospitals, so I knew what was going to happen to me. I would seen it happen before. I decided there's got to be something else. What do people in, in China do? What do people in India do? I mean, what do people around the world do? They can't, this can't be it. Through that journey, I discovered ozone therapy, which I went three times in Mexico to the William Hitt Center, did ozone therapy. I went to a clinic for three months and did high dose vitamin C therapy. And it was in that clinic with a holistic doctor where she explained to me what was, what was causing my heart disease, what was causing my cancer, and basically it was my meat eating habit, you know, eating, eating habit. I was eating processed foods, I was drinking beer, and lots of animal food. All animal food, and that's why I was, I, I grill a steak every night, and I just loved it. I decided when I left that that office, and we were there for maybe two or three hours just talking and she's explaining and, t and I went, you know what, I'm going to give this up. I, I mean, is that steak worth dying for? That's what I thought. So from that moment on, and that was probably 14, 13, 14 years ago, I walked out of that office and I have not eaten anything with eyes or, or legs. Good for you. Since that moment, I went totally vegan, but I was still eating cooked vegan. And I was doing much better. I was losing weight. Of course. Uh, my PSA, which was almost at, at 12 at one point, was starting to go down. Everything was starting to work. And then I discovered Hippocrates. I heard about Hippocrates. My daughter, again, researched it and found out it was an a, a institute where they promote raw food, vegan food, and the people are getting healed. What I discovered is the raw food helps your body's immune system do its job, and that's what heals you. Mm -hmm. It's your own body where you stop sabotaging the body, and now you're giving it the right nutrients, and voila, everything's starting to Everything fix, your, your, to your, your, your bowel movements are increasing, your energy's increasing, you're detoxing, because you're not putting toxins in the body, and your body's an amazing machine where 24-7 it's trying to get rid of this poison. But how can it get rid of the poison, the toxins, if you keep ingesting toxins on a daily basis? You have to stop the sabotage. Now you give your, your body raw, organic food. Why raw? Which is what a lot of people have asked me. And I go, well, figure this out. There are 50 million living organisms on this planet. Human beings are the only organism, the only species which cooks its food, heats it up, which you know fire has a tendency to destroy things. And we're the sickest species on earth. Obesity does not exist in the wild on animals that are eating, you know, basically raw food, what's, what's good for their species. They don't have a stove out there. There's nobody cooking it, there's nobody processing it, they're eating vine ripened, they're eating things out of the ground, the gorillas are eating, you know, leaves off of, off of trees. They're perfect, there's no obesity, there's none of the illnesses that we have. Which animals have obesity and cancer? The domesticated animals. The domesticated animals where people are feeding them cooked food out of a can, processed foods in these 25 pound bags, we don't even know what that stuff is. 
because it just doesn't exist anywhere Chemicals. else. And our animals are getting obese and cancer. Human beings are getting obese and cancer because the food has been tainted and it's been over-processed. Hal Hanna from uh, Hawaii wrote a book. It was called, If Man Made It, Don't Eat It. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing book. It's hilarious. But this man was way ahead of his time back in the 70s when he wrote the book. And he was promoting no dairy, which is what Cornell University, right. you know, with their, their, their big study, uh, Dr. T. Colin Campbell the came China up study. with. He did the China study. He's got a book called Whole, W-H-O-L-E, which is an amazing book, which tells you what's happened to our, to, to our food supply, the medical industry, the food industry. People have to realize one thing. The medical industry is not in the health business. They are in the disease business. And the money business. The pharmaceutical industry makes all its trillions of dollars by, by selling drugs to, to you know, stop symptoms, not heal you. I had doctors in Mexico, U.S. doctors from L.A. taking ozone when I was doing the ozone therapy, telling me that it's illegal in the U.S. to cure disease. This is their, I'm, I'm quoting them. And I heard this from three different doctors three different times. Isn't that scary? They said you're allowed to treat symptoms, but they don't want you curing because there's no money in curing. Once you're cured, you don't go back to the doctor. You don't need the pharmaceutical drugs. They're telling people that if you're a diabetic, you're a diabetic for life. There are so many people that I've spoken to that have gone raw, a 100%. They don't take insulin anymore. I know a man that's been off insulin for four years and he used to inject insulin in his belly twice a day. Oh yeah, that happens all the time. He went raw. He yeah. decided to go raw and he tells everybody he's cured. He says, I was playing golf not too long ago and I ran into a bunch of doctors and I told them, I used to be diabetic, but I'm no longer. They laughed at him. They, don't they believe said, oh, you. They don't once believe. you're a diabetic, he says, yeah. I haven't taken insulin in four years. And they go, well, what did you do? And he goes, well, I'm raw. I eat plant-based raw. And they, they said, oh, well, that's why you don't need the insulin, because you're plant-based raw. And it's like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Earth to everybody. Yeah, hello. Yeah. If I kept eating the garbage that these guys are eating. When I, had, when, I was, when I was going through my healing thing, I went to see a, a regular doctor at the beginning, and my cholesterol was 240. And this doctor says, I'm going to put you on Zocor, which is a statin. He's a short, little, fat guy. And I said, Doc, I've read the, the, you know, the, the, the physician's desk uh, reference on, on statins, and they destroy your brain and your liver. I'm going to monitor you. He goes, I take it. Uh, He's telling me, I take it, and I'm thinking, what's wrong? And I said, Doc, I know what I eat. I eat, a, I eat steak every night. I drink beer, butter on bread. I mean, I know what I'm doing, and I was huge at the time. He, he says, it's genetic. It has nothing to do with what you eat. Somehow that just hit me so hard that I thought, I know what How I'm doing. How could that be? This doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, my cholesterol, after I stopped eating all that stuff and went raw plant-based, has been 119 for years. Every time I've had cholesterol check, it's 119. All the 19. cholesterol is in the animal food. If you want to get rid of a cholesterol problem, stop eating the animal food. My high blood pressure, totally normal. Uh, it, it's just amazing what I have, what I have experienced by and being And how do you raw. feel now? Like if I was twenty year a twenty year old athlete, I mean it's just amazing the changes that eating plant. I call it the gorilla diet. And you totally healed from the cancer. Totally healed from heart disease, cancer, and a lot of issues that men have. I don't have them anymore. Wonderful. So it's wonderful. It's it's a good thing. So this is a true testimonial for healing. And if you have an issue, any kind of issue, even, you know, these degenerative diseases like cancer and heart disease, don't let anybody make you feel like those are terminal diseases that can't be healed. You certainly can. And this is one true example. Thank you so much, Raul. No, you're welcome. Thank you for uh, coming to the restaurant yesterday. Uh, the Green Wave Cafe in Plantation, Florida. Organic, gluten-free, vegan. And the website? The website is thegreenwavecafe.com and raw.